Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to AKD Tech, and today we're going to be talking about this awesome little device here that I found sitting on a bookshelf, ready to be thrown away pretty much. And well, I salvaged this, and let's find out how this works. Okay, so let's start by getting some baseline results for what Wi-Fi I have right now. Now, I can tell you right away, it's not good, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so that's actually a lot better than I usually get, but as you can see, it's dropping back down immediately. So around 30 looks like what we're going to end up with, and the upload's not going to be anything better, to be honest. So I got 30 there, and we're looking at around 6? 5? 6? So nothing great. Uh, the Wi-Fi here, it does kind of suck because it's an apartment, so there's a lot of Wi-Fi networks around here, and it does get a little bit crazy. So it looks like we're going to be looking at not really great results to compare to in the first place but supposedly this thing's going to give us 54 megabits per second but we will check it out all right and just for fun what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take a baseline for our computer here but this one is wired so it's going to be a little bit interesting to see what happens when we take the the wired connection directly from this computer into this airport and then put it back into this computer and we're looking at 51 which is ridiculously good for what we're supposed to be getting so that looks like it's a success the upload speed not so much but uh, but for the most part it looks like this network is doing pretty good now the AT&T router is all sorts of wacky but um, well we'll see let's see how this goes Okay, so now that we got the baseline going, we can now go ahead and connect this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug in the little power cord here and, well, let's get it going. Okay, so what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take out the, the Ethernet cable from my computer and I'm going to go ahead and just connect it to this. It should get the job done, especially because when we did the baseline, we saw that the Ethernet was doing spectacularly well with 50 megs per second so yeah it should be pretty good so moving ourselves over here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to grab the ethernet there's the ethernet and i'm just going to stick it in the back of this now there's a whole bunch of ports here and this even has a port for dial-up, which I think is absolutely hilarious. Obviously, we're not going to be doing dial-up or even testing that, but I'm just gonna plug in the ethernet and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so the lights are blinking. So that's a good thing, I think. I guess it's doing something. Uh, there's no lights on the, on the back port here. If you notice, usually these things light up, but absolutely nothing here. But whatever, at least we have lighting up uh, on the front. So let's, let's go ahead and check it out. Now that we got everything connected on this Airport Extreme, we can get started, but there's a couple of issues we need to solve first. So first off, it's so old, Mac OS doesn't support it anymore. So what we're gonna have to do is literally go back in time to a version that actually supports this thing. I mean, it's from 2003, so obviously uh, Apple has gone through a whole bunch of different revisions afterwards. So we're gonna have to fix that problem. This, oh my God, it's heavy. This is a solution. So this is also being thrown away, which is funny. This is an old MacBook. Literally, it says MacBook on it, not even MacBook Pro or anything. It's massively thick. It has a CD drive. And yeah, it's crazy. This thing is so heavy. So this thing's gonna be the solution, except that its battery is dead. So we're gonna have to keep it plugged in. And the problem is, I don't really have an outlet around here that's free. So I'm gonna go outlet hunting, and then we're gonna plug this in and hopefully get it working. Okay, so I found an outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, so reach, and hopefully it'll turn on. It should turn on automatically. We're just gonna give it a couple seconds. Oh, there's some weird noises. And there it is, good as new. Let's take a look at what version this is even running. I mean, this is ridiculously old. Uh, 10.4, that is really, really old. Uh, and honestly, I would love to upgrade this thing. I don't know how much I can because it only has 512 megabytes of RAM. I have a similar one um, in my office where I work, which has Snow Leopard on it, which is kind of cool. 
and that's what I was originally testing it out on and it looked like that was running a lot better with the utilities this one on the other hand has a couple if you notice here you have the airport admin utility and then you have an air airport setup assistant so let's go through the setup assistant first I guess it's a little bit weird to do it this way let's continue I want to set up a new base station I suppose yes I wonder if we can even do that I, I thought so yeah well since this one's technically already set up let's just use this change settings and we'll move it to come on we'll set it to my airport extreme network that I created before and let's see how this is gonna work uh, we'll put a password on it sure I don't remember what the password is so let's do one two three four five six seven eight for now we're gonna have that thing restart and I'll be back in a couple seconds okay so it looks like it just restarted so what I'm gonna do is I'm literally gonna just bring my iPad over here let's see if this will sit down there we go okay so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out so step one is get the Wi-Fi going to the airport extreme well, let's run a speed test this is on the airport extreme so let's see multi yep everything seems like it's set and oh that's pretty bad now remember this is only one device I can't imagine how poor it's gonna be with two okay so I'm gonna take this spare cable that I have and I'm just literally gonna stick it into the back of this so let's grab this take this put it into the connection port here so now we have an LAN one thing I dislike about this router a lot is the fact that it only has one LAN port versus the newer airport extremes which have I think three on the back which is a lot nicer it makes it more like a router versus literally a wireless router and I get what why this was made in the past but I would have preferred it so I'm just gonna go ahead and connect this in the back so it's connected let's turn it back on now I'm expecting around 50 I'm hoping somewhere close to 50 but obviously this is being daisy chained to a very old router and would you look at that around 45 46 it's going up to 50 would you look at that so there looks like there's no drop in uh, connection at all if anything it's actually faster which is funny but um, that's ridiculously good okay so I think it's time to end this video because we didn't really get very far so just a recap we just got around 10 megabits per second and if you connect more devices it's just gonna get worse from there so it looks like this router is definitely too old and the reality is that there's so many other newer networks around they're just overpowering this old device but yeah thanks for watching make sure to subscribe as always and I'll see you in the next video